AI, artificial intelligence, everybody is talking about it. But what does this mean for educators like us within the Google ecosystem? Well, Google's BART has become available to many and we can now play around with Google BART. Now, BART is still in that experimental beta phase, but when you request access, you can start playing around with it. So that's just what we'll do today. Let's jump into it with our flipped classroom tutorial. Now here you can see I'm on the BARD experience. I'm on their platform. Now here we have BARD interface. At the bottom, we can add in our prompt. Let's go ahead and do this as a teacher and let's use a context within a school how we might want to use BARD. Now let's think of key stage one. We're talking about six-year-olds and we're preparing a unit on Amelia Earhart. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's type in our prompt here. Let's say I am a year one teacher and I'm preparing a unit on Amelia Earhart. And let's go ahead and send this off to Google. Google is now going to read that using its natural language processing, and then it'll give us a response. Okay, sounds great. She's an amazing woman, her story is unique. Here are a few ideas, and it's immediately giving me those ideas of what I could do. Now let's have a look. We've got some books there, okay? Lots of books that are great for younger learners. We can watch some videos. I quite like the idea of creating a timeline. So let's go ahead and highlight this, and I'm going to say, tell me more about the idea on creating a timeline. So now Google Bard is going to go back into its own response and it is going to use that to give us even more information. So here are some tips that you can then use. Okay, it's telling me that there's some major events, create that timeline, okay. Can you give an example timeline with key events? Now this could be one used by the teacher just as an example in class. So it is now creating that example timeline. This is just one way that Google Bard can help us in our schools. Let's try something new. We're going to start with a brand new. We're going to click on reset the chat. Let's click on reset. And this time we're going to do a risk assessment. Now let's say that our next unit is on jungle animals or animals in Southeast Asia. And I want to do a risk assessment because I know I'll be bringing in a snake. So let's create a risk assessment for school when snakes are brought into the class. There we go. We're now going to ask Google to assist us in creating that risk assessment. It is running. There we go. We have a risk assessment for bringing snakes into the classroom. So we have our hazards, likelihood, consequences, control measures, training, monitoring, review. Now I quite like this. It's a good start. But let's have a look at some other drafts. So here in the top right corner, you can click on view other drafts. So we're going to open this up. We have different versions of this. So we can have a look at the second one. Okay, it's a different version of that. This one's quite text heavy. Let's go and have a look at the third draft here. Okay, excellent. This one's much easier to read. Let's go ahead and use this one. So I'm now going to just copy this risk assessment and then we can paste it into a new doc and paste in that risk assessment. There we go. We can now start tweaking this and make sure that it's right for our school, our classroom. Huge time saver when it comes to admin tasks that teachers do on a day to day basis. Now on the left hand side, another thing you'll see is there's a barred activity. Now when you click on that, it will pull up your activity within Google. So similar to your other activity within your Google account, here you will now keep track of your BARD activity. So you can see it shows you exactly what was searched for and then you can click on that for more information. Now, there's a few other things that you can do now with this text. Let's say you want to continue using this risk assessment, but I want it in a table format. Can you put this into a table format? There we go. We're now going to take this risk assessment and it's going to reformat it so that it becomes a table. And there we are, we have our table. We have our hazard risk control risk reduction. Now this is a great way to really cut down on admin time. And again, we can view other drafts here at the top right corner. So you can see we have those three different drafts. Whichever one you choose, you can then go with that one 
and copy it over into your documentation. Now, if you too want to check out Google Bard, go to bard.google.com. Go ahead and sign up, join the waiting list, and as soon as you are invited into the program, you will get access. Now, it only took 24 hours for my account to be approved, and so you can get started right away this week if you sign up today. I'm looking forward to hearing what you have experienced and how BARD worked for you, how you might use it in the classroom, and what sort of learning activities can you envision using Google BARD within your classrooms. Let me know in that comment section below, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.